Hi, in this video, we will discuss functions. A function is a rule that assigns to each input exactly one output. The uses of functions are not only in mathematics, but also in other disciplines, such as biology, physics, economics, and more. In mathematics, the concept of functions is one of the most basic ones. In particular, it is fundamental in calculus. Now let's start with a brief review. The definition of a function is a rule that assigns to each element in the set A called the domain exactly one element called f of x in the set B called the range. Common notations used with functions are f semicolon A to B means f is a function with domain A and range B. f semicolon x to y means f takes the element called x to the element called y. In our first example, we have a function f that has a domain and range of all real numbers. The function is f of x equals to x cubed minus x, and we are asked to evaluate f at 1, f at 0, f at negative 2, and f at a squared. We will first compute f at 1. By subbing in 1 where x was, we get 1 cubed minus 1, which gives us 1 minus 1 which is just 0. Then we will do the same for f at 0. Subbing 0 in, we get 0 minus 0, which is still 0. For f at negative 2, we will do the same. We will get negative 2 cubed minus negative 2, which is negative 8 plus 2. Then our answer will be negative 6. For f at a squared, we will get a squared to the power of 3 minus a squared, which will just be a to the power of 6 minus a squared. So, in conclusion, our answer will be 0 for f at 1, 0 for f at 0, negative 6 for f at negative 2, and a to the power of 6 minus a squared for f at a squared. In our second example, we have a function that also has its domain and range as the set of all real numbers. And the function is f of x is equal to square root of x squared minus x. We are asked to solve for which x's does f of x equal 0. Our solution will begin by setting f of x equal to 0. Then we have root of x squared minus x equal to 0. We will square both sides and get x squared minus x equal to 0. Then we will factor an x out and get x times x minus 1 equal to 0. Then we can see that x has to equal to 0 or 1. So, in conclusion, f of x is equal to 0 for x equal to 0, or x equals to 1. Here is a convention we use when the domain of a given function is not specified. We take it to be the set of all real numbers for which the expression is defined as a real number. In this example, we are asked to find the domain of different functions. Our first function is f of x equals to 1 over x squared. And our second function is g of x is equal to square root of 4 minus x squared. Our solution will start by acknowledging that our function 1 over x squared is undefined only when x equals to 0. Therefore, the domain for f is x cannot be 0. For function g, we know that the function is only defined when 4 minus x squared is greater or equal to 0, because you cannot take the square root of a negative number. Solving the inequality, we get 4 is greater or equal to x squared. Then we get x has to be greater or equal to negative 2, 
and less or equal to positive 2. So, we know our domain for function g is x has to be greater or equal to negative 2 and less or equal to positive 2. So, in conclusion, our answer will be domain for function f is x cannot equal 0 and domain for function g is x has to be greater or equal to negative 2 and less or equal to positive 2. Let's move on to graphs. Here is the definition. The graph of f is the set of all points x and y in the plane for which y equals to f of x. In our last example, we are asked to graph the function f of x equals to x squared and g of x equals to root x. To graph f of x, we will first sub in x as 0 and get the point 0, 0. Then, we will sub in x equal to 1 to get 1, 1. Subbing in x equals to 2, we get the point 2, 4. Subbing in x equals to negative 2, we get negative 2 and 4. Then, by repeating this step with different x values, we will plot several different points. By connecting them, we will be able to come up with a curve that represents our graph. For g of x, we will only sub in positive values of x, since we know that the domain only contains positive numbers, because you cannot take a square root of a negative number. We will sub in x as 0 first and get the first point, 0, 0. Subbing in x equals to 1, we get 1, 1. Subbing in x equals to 2, we get 2, root 2. Then subbing in x equals to 3, we get 3, root 3. Subbing in x equals to 4, we get 4, 2. Then, by connecting the points, we will be able to come up with the graph of g of x. We have reviewed the important concepts of functions and gone through some examples. Becoming familiar with the concept of functions is crucial in calculus and for some other math and science courses. Now, let's go to some practice questions.